Welcome back to our channel. This is Yemi Oge School of Fashion. My own name is Yemi C. And today we will be discussing the basic bodies draft. Please, if you are new to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button on the right and turn on your notification so that you will know when we upload a new video. I'll start by introducing my equipment. Here's my pattern master, my bust curve, my hip curve, my ruler, and my arm o curve. My tape pro, my marker, and my scissors, and here's my pattern paper. The video exists already on this channel, but we're having an updated version today. I'll start by drawing my borderlines. And I'll get my center point because I'm going to be dividing the paper into two by drafting the back bodies here and the front bodies here. So we'll divide the paper into two equal hours. Now, we're going to start from the top line. I'm labeling the first line, the top line. From the top line, I'm going to measure 1.2 inches and mark. And another 1.2 inches and then mark again. Then I'm going to draw horizontal lines. That point is called the point O, the first 1.2 inch mark is point O. So I draw an horizontal line and then another horizontal line with the second point. Next, I'm going to label the lines. The first line is called the back start line, while the second line is the back shoulder line. Next measurement from the top line, I'm going to measure the arm skyline. Now, how do I get the arm skyline? The arm skyline is the bust height minus 1.5 inches. In this case, the bust height is 10.5, so minus 1.5, making 9 inches. I'm going to measure it across the paper up to the front part because the arm sky will run across both the back and the front. next i will label always remember to label your lines to avoid confusion so i label the arm sky line next i'm going to find my back line how do i get that from point o to the arm sky line you measure whatever you get you divide by two in this case it's eight inches divided by two is four inches so your back line is halfway from point O to your arm skyline. And then you draw another horizontal line. And you remember to label back line. Next line is the waist line. From the top line, measure your waist height. In this case, it's 16. So your waist line will also run across the sheet from the back to the front. Some measurements are meant for the back alone, some from the front alone. 
But when we talk about the arm sky line, the waistline, and the hip line, they run across from back to front. So you label that the waist line. And the last line at the base is the hip line. Now we go to the front part of the pattern. I'm going to be drawing the bust line now. The bust line is definitely 1.5 inch below the arm skyline. So I draw an horizontal line. Then I go up to, remember to label that the bust line. From the arm skyline up, I'll measure the chest line. How do I get the chest line? The chest line is 1.5 inch above the arm skyline. So you draw an horizontal line with that and you label it as well as the chest line. Now we have our horizontal lines in place. So we start drawing the vertical lines now. I'm going to start from the neckline at the back. The formula for the neck width is there on the screen. Okay, from point O, I measure my neck width. My neck width in this case is 2.75. And then from that point, I measure half inch up. And I draw a line with it. And I take my curve to curve it from that half inch point to the point O. And I label it as my neck point next on the back line i'm measuring my back width the back is 14 divided by 2 is 7 so i measure 7 inches and then i repeat that same measurements at the lower line and at the upper line and then i draw a vertical line joining the three points together From the back shoulder line, I measure 0.75 inch from that back line and I mark. And on the arm sky line, I measure 2 inches or 2.5 or 2.25 depending on the size. The measurements are written on the screen. Then I connect the neck point and the shoulder point mark with a diagonal line. The shoulder point is the point we got after measuring 0.75 inch from the back line on that back shoulder line then now i'm going to connect these three points the shoulder point the back point and then the arm sky which is on the arm sky line with a curve then i connect the three points to get my back arm o this point is the arm o We'll label it A. Next, I'm going to um, get my hip measurement. In this case, it's 40. Divided by 4 is 10. Please remember to add half inch ease. So instead of measuring 10, I measure 10.5. And I mark. And I'll be connecting the hip point straight to the arm sky. The waist will be determined later when we are constructing the darts. So for now, we are through with the back. We'll be moving to the front. At the front, we're going to be constructing the neckline. The neck width is still 2.75 from our calculation. So from point O, measure your 2.75 across and mark it. And then your neck depth, in this case, is 3.5. Measure your 3.5 and mark. And then draw a box. We're going to be 
drawing the curve too using a neckline curve and or an ammo curve your neckline depends on your style label your neck points remember to always label so now i'm going to be drawing the um front shoulder line how do i get that i measure 1.75 inch downwards from point o then i draw an horizontal line with that mark on that horizontal line which i just drew by the way that line is called the front shoulder line i measure 6.5 inches and then i mark i connect that mark with the neck point to draw a diagonal line the length of the line must be longer than eight inches that's my front shoulder line now i'm going to be drafting the bust span line the bust span is 7 divided by 2 is 3.5 so i draw my 3.5 from the front and uh, from the center front to draw a vertical line downwards that's my bust span line and please remember to label it bust span line That's my bust point. My bust point is where the bust man line meets the bust line. So I want to get my shoulder point now. But first, let me start drafting my shoulder dart. I measure an inch from the bust pan line on the shoulder line. And then I connect it to my bust point. That's my first uh, dart line. Then I measure three inches from that line. And I connect also again to my bust point. That's the second dart line. Please ensure that the two lines have the same measurements. So you measure the first line and you adjust the second line to meet up with the measurement of the first line. They must measure equally. Now, I'll go to the back to measure the shoulder at the back. Here it's 5.5. Then I come to the front. Remember to add a 3 inch dart to that 5.5, making 8.5. Then you mark your shoulder point in the front and connect. That's my shoulder point. I need three points to form my front arm O. The shoulder points, the chest points, and the bust um, armpits in the front. To get my chest point, measure the darts on the chest line. Add it to the chest measurement, which is 14 divided by 2, 7. So 7 plus 1.1 darts allowance, you get your chest points. Always remember to return dart allowances. Then label that place your chest points. Now the third measurement, we need to get the armpit points. To do that, we have to go back to the back measurements and measure from the back to the armpit, from the center back to the armpit. I got 9.25. I'm going to subtract that 9.25 from half of my bust circumference. Bust is 36, half of it is 18. So 18 minus 9.25 is 8.75. So I'll be measuring 8.75 on my arm scan line, but I'll be adding one inch ease allowance. One inch ease. I repeat that measurement on the bust line too. The same measurement. So I'm going to be connecting the three points now. The shoulder point, the chest point, and then the armpit on the bust line using my french curve
So there I have my arms arm sky in the front too. Next I need my hip measurements which is 10 plus half inch is making 10.5 and I connect that point straight to the bust line. Now we're going to be constructing the darts. We start from the back. For the back, get the midpoint. The dart is constructed on the midpoint at the back. So you get the midpoint and draw a straight vertical line as long as possible. The longer the back dart, the better. The longer, the better. Now to get the back dart, we're going to be measuring from the diagonal line to the center back. Remember, we just joined the armpit to the hip directly. So you get the measurements there and you write it down. In this case, it's 9.9. .9. The waist measurement is 7.5. So you subtract. We have 2.4 inches. So we divide that 2.4 inches into three parts. The On the actual that, on the side, the same. And then on the center back. So I'm going to divide it into 0.8, 0.8, 0.8, so that the dart can be balanced. Please let the dart be as long as possible. The longer, the the more, the better the fitting for the back, not the front. So I'm going to be shaping the side seam with 0.8. The center dart is 0.8, and then the center back dart is also open here the center back that is necessary for the back for the curve of the back it removes bulge it removes bulge so i'll use my curve to blend the sharp edges always blend your sharp edges so we're done with the back that now we go to the front that we complete the front that because it's, we're not yet complete you do the same thing in front from the vertical side seam line that we drew before measure it to the center front on the waistline so we have 10 inches you write it down the actual waist is 7.5 you subtract so we have 2.4 inches so we're dividing the 2.4 into two places the actual that and on the side seam so we'll, I'm going to be using one inch on the actual that and then 1.5 on the side seam or you could use 1.5 on the actual that and one inch on the side seam Please don't put any dart on the center front. Remember, the center front is going to be on fold. So let your dart just be on the side seam and on the bust fan line. So we could use one inch on the side seam and 1.5 inch on the bust fan line. You divide it into two. That's 0 0.75 on the left, 0 0.75 on the right. So there we have our uh, dart complete. I'm shading the dart and uh, the parts we don't need. Anywhere I shade, we're cutting it off. So here's our front and back pattern. Shoulder dart. Thank you for watching. Bye.